Hey collective, welcome to my channel, Divine Neutral Tarot. I'm your reader, Annetta, and we are going to tap into the energies of you and your person while you're in separation. If you're not in separation with your person or you haven't been separated from your person in the past, this is not your reading. Um, you may get some messages of what's going on if you are with your person, but take the messages as they resonate, leave the rest, okay? But the intentions of this reading is for you to get some messages from spirit about you and your person that you're separated with, okay? If you're not currently separated from your person, please come back at a later date and time and I will upload a general reading for you, collective, okay? All right, so right now, let's get on into it. We're gonna see what's going on with you and your person. I spit the deck and the first card I see is hate. I hope this is not your collective, but it's, 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 it's there. Okay. All right. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the total tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we are open to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right. Now let's get this show on the road, babe, okay? and see what's going on with you and your person. All right, and let's see. Your person do not want you to do this to him or them because somebody is sitting in spiritual jail or physical jail. Okay. And then, like, somebody is <laughs> receiving some type of karma here. Okay. But, you know, that, that word karma get thrown around so loosely. And all karma is is to teach you the levels and lessons in love about what you're giving and what you're receiving. That's just it. You get you get what you give. And I mean that's just the law of the universe. So if you do bullshit, trust me, that energy has to balance out. And how does that energy balance out? Through karma, it returns back to you. You give love, you receive love. You give bullshit, you receive bullshit. That's the basics of what I could say. I could go deeper into that, but this is not that video, so Take it as it resonates. <laughs> All right, collective, let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what message do you have for the collective regarding the person that they're in separation with? Okay. That was quick. Let's, let's get a few more, Holy Spirit. Let's get a few more. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, those two. All right, let's get a few more, Holy Spirit, and then we're going to get rocking. What else can you tell me? Oh, those can okay, those okay, that'll do it. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have things are not the same between you and your person. This is the reason why you guys have separated as well, because uh, things changed. It seems like they changed up on you. Yeah, they changed up on you. Yeah, and now they don't want you to do this. Okay, your person is a thief. Okay, it could be an energy thief of uh, a money thief, somebody sold your heart, something of the sort. And then again, things are not the same because what I just say, they changed on you. And now they're so sad. They're so sad because they have no understanding. They have no understanding because they was careless with your feelings. And now the devil is coming to collect. This card has been coming out a lot. This is why I said somebody is uh, receiving some type of karma. And now it's time to pay that karmic debt. And he's coming to collect. Again, your person do not want you to do this to them. Okay, so collective. It's making me feel like you separated from your person. If your person separated from you, they do not want to be separated from you anymore. They were just showing off for others and now they're hurt beyond repair. Okay, but the evidence is in the phone. So collective, if you went through your person's phone, you found some evidence. If you didn't, eh, it might be in there. I'm just saying, that's just what it is. Okay. Your person need more time to get it right because, again, like I said, they sitting in spiritual jail or physical jail. This is why the devil's coming to collect, okay? And your person knows that they cannot take back what they said and they want to move in together. Now, this is also to want to move in with you or move together with you energetically, okay? For some of you guys, excuse me, for some of you guys, they actually do want to move in. Your person could be homeless. 
couch surfing, things of the sort. Your person turned karmic or is going through a karmic cycle and they are scared of what's to come, okay? Because they know that this is it. Your person is a lost soul. This is why that devil is coming to collect on that karmatic debt. And you listen to your intuition. By you listening to your intuition and separating from your person, that is also to moving you into the energies of protecting or being protected energetically from your person. And they do not want you to, they do not want to lose you. Your person is holding on for dear life to this connection because they heartbroken and they know they fucked up. They heartbroken and they know they fucked up because they were out of touch with reality. And now they have to learn things the hard way, hard way. And now your person is in spiritual warfare. You see what I'm saying? That's what I said in the beginning. Karma is all over this reading. Your person going to have to pay that karmatic debt. It is making me feel like spirit removed you or you removed yourself through the guidance of your intuition and spirit to get away from this person or to separate from this person because shit. The shit about to hit the fan with this spiritual warfare and the devil coming to collect. Your, your, your person is a lost soul. Damn. Pray for your person. Because they're going through it or they're about to go through it. Because it's some type of karmatic debt that your person has to pay. And now your person sitting up here wondering why. They're wondering why because karma is playing out right now. You see what I'm saying? Pray for your person. If you guys are not talking or you be like, oh, fuck him or fuck her or whatever. No, baby, pray, pray for them. This is how you get the healing that you need. This is how you start the healing price process. Is actually through praying for your person. And that comes in and that right there helps them. Um, it help, it, it not only help them, but it'll help you heal. It'll help you in the forgiveness process as well. Um, I know people do things to hurt us, but baby, this is a part of your soul tribe. That person is a part of your soul tribe. This is why you have been removed from them because of this karma and things playing out right now. But this person is a part of your soul tribe. That's what I'm saying. You guys are connected through the soul level or you got, um, how should I say, soul family. The same soul family here, okay? <clears throat> it could be physical or spiritual. It's making me feel like you know your person and their family here in the 3D. And this is the reason why you guys probably even connected because you guys knew each other. But yeah, they're going through it. And I, I, I would advise and I suggest to pray for your person, okay? They never thought that they would lose you. They never thought they would lose you. This is why they want you back so bad. You were their blessing. You see what I'm saying? You were their blessing. Continue to bless your person through through um through the prayers that you put in the atmosphere and the prayers that you pray to God for them to get through this karmic cycle that is coming and learn the lessons in the levels of love. Okay, now they're angry at themselves. You see what I'm saying? The person is angry at themselves because they know that you were their blessing, and they're scared of what's to come. This karmic cycle. You see? Do you see, collector? This is what I'm saying. Your person is about to go through a shit storm if they haven't already. And by this person being a part of your soul tribe, a part of your soul tribe, you pray for your people. Okay? Forgive them, Father. They do not know what they do. And that is the truest statement that in the Bible, well, the whole dang, <laughs> the whole Bible is true, but that one right here is stick. That verse right here is sticking out mighty, mighty far because of your person is a lost soul, okay? And now they're sitting in misery. This is why they're angry at themselves, okay? Because they know that you were the best thing to happen to them. This is how come they never thought that they would lose you. You were their blessing because you were the best thing that ever happened to them. And they're, they're upset that things are not the same. And I know, I know, I can hear you now, Collector. Well, they shouldn't have did what they did. And da, 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 da. I understand. <laughs> I do understand. And I understand the reason why you had to remove thyself. But at the same time, put them prayers in the air for your person so they could get through this shit too. Okay? This is not over. Mm. And they can't say shit about why. Whatever they did, they can't say shit about it. This is how come they over here sitting in misery. Okay? Because they never thought that they would lose you. You're the best thing that ever happened to them. Okay? Your person cried for you when they're alone. 
This one right here is in <clears throat> emotional turmoil here. Yeah, because they self-sabotage this connection. This is why they're angry at themselves sitting in misery. Wow. Okay, so there is a lot of guilt and regret here. Okay, your person know exactly the reasons why this is this connection is not working. This connection has fallen apart. Your person over here is sitting in agony for losing you. It's making me feel like your person did some things in this connection against you, collective, that um, it threw them into this karmic cycle of what's to come. Now, when, and that's why I was trying to, <laughs> I was thinking, Holy Spirit, I guess this is the reason why I, I, I explained what karma was in the beginning of this reading, because this is what your person is sitting through. This is why I say pray for them. They had no understanding about the karmic laws here. And normally, that's that's usually what happens when somebody is in a karmic cycle. It's because there's no understanding of karmic law. If there was, they wouldn't have did that shit. And if they did, did it anyway, the consequences is tremendous. Because you had knowledge and wisdom about God's law, karmic law, and you still violated them. He don't take kindly to that. But when you don't know, you learn from <laughs> the, 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 the karmic cycle that you are dealt now, this person right here with this sitting in misery and angry at themselves, they on the reverse side of karma, a.k.a. bad karma, because of the things that they've done, because they know they self-sabotage this connection with you. They're kicking themselves in the ass because of the things that they have done to you. This is why they cry when they're alone for you, because you were the best thing that ever happened to them. And now things are not the same. And damn it, like I said, Karma is playing out right now. And your person is spiritual warfare. I cannot stress enough how much you really need to pray for your person. Fuck that get back energy. Fuck that, oh, that's what they get because they did this to me. No, baby, this is spiritual. Your person needs your help spiritually. And those prayers for them to get through this is what's going to help them through this. Do you understand? I hope so, collective. I hope so. Okay. Let's get into it. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about they never thought they would lose you? Shit, they never, ever thought that they would lose you. Man, they thought they had you in the bag, collective. And you, they probably did. Somebody could be an Aries. Mm -hmm. They never thought they lost an Aries. Or this Aries thought they never lost you. Okay, what else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? What's just sticking out? Yeah, happy feelings. See what I'm saying? You are their happiness. You are their blessing. They never thought they would lose you because they was happy with you. But they just did some old dumb ass shit to fuck it up. Ain't that about a bitch? And now they pissed off and shit. Uh-huh, I bet you are sitting in misery. Now you, you pissed off at yourself. That's what this is. They pissed off at they self for losing such a blessing like you. Mm. I mean, kicking kick their ass all the way through and through these spiritual streets. Okay, yeah, they pissed off. Okay, somebody can have a pissed off baby mama. Okay, that big fat ass yes. Somebody got a, a pissed off baby mama. So it's making me feel as though collective. If you're not this person's baby mama, their baby mama had a hand in y'all connect or y'all separation. I almost said your connection. So I mean, you know that too. That's for some of you. Some of you guys actually know your person's baby mama. Damn. I, okay, I heard your spirit. For some of you guys, <laughs> this person's baby mama felt as though you stole their baby daddy away from them. I'm just saying. That, that came right on through, so there you go. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. What can you tell me about you with their blessing? What can you tell me about you with their blessing? Yep, trust. Uh-huh. You trusted him or trust the fact that that was true. Okay, trust and believe that you were their blessing. Mm-hmm. And you know, turned around. You know, made a U-turn. Turn around. Na -na 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 And now they're in deep regrets. I'ma learn that song. Because every time I see this U-turn, that song comes to mind. And I I actually love that commercial, but I don't know the song, so I'm gonna look it up. But anyhow. What else can you tell me about you were their blessing? Yeah, trust to believe that fact. 
Uh-huh. Look. Yeah, you provided a happy home. With these happy feelings and happy home, this is why they're kicking themselves in the ass because they lost you. They never thought that they would lose you because you were the best thing that ever happened to them. Damn. I, I mean, I guess so. Yeah. They know they so. Look, they know why they angry at themselves. This is revelation coming to them, baby, about the happy home that you provided. And now they want to go back. Because you were the best thing that ever happened to them, Collector. Damn, what's this sticking out? Wasted time. Your person know they wasted a whole lot of time doing the bullshit that they have done or was doing to cause this connection to separate. Also, too, Collective, you know that you were wasting time with this one right here. Okay? You know thyself and wasting time? Oh, hell yeah, Collective. You knew or you know that you wasted your time with this person right here. Or this is how they feeling. This is how come they're angry at themselves. You could have actually told your person that you was nothing but a waste of time. And that could have struck a core. Could have struck something in their spirit. To get them to wake up and, and realize like, damn, I fucked this up. They kicking their own ass. Look, your spirit team ain't even got to do nothing. They doing it themselves. A lot of guilt and regret. Fucking secret lover. You know what? I'm so tired of this motherfucker too much. Yeah. 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 I mean, and another man. Woo. Let's look at this here. We have too much, another man, a secret lover. So, collective, for some of you guys, you dumped the hill zero and got you a hero. This is for some of you guys, not everybody. This is a general reading. But also, too, um, for some of you guys, this secret lover was just too much. Okay, for my, my male my males here, my, my masculine energies, oh yeah. They had another they had a secret lover, they did. They did, and that secret love, it was just too much for you to bear. This is how come you left the connection or left this situation with your person. There was another man involved that's a secret lover, male or female, okay? All right. They could be an Aquarius. Or you could be or your person. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about you're the best thing that ever happened to me? Oh, I'm getting my feminine energies up in here. Uh, feminist. Uh, it's making me feel like this. <laughs> you were the one that had the secret lover with that other man. That's for some of you guys. Yes. Yes. My masculine energies. Yes. Yes, they did. They knew that you were their blessing. And they went out and fucked around with somebody else. Ain't that about a bitch? This is how come they're kicking themselves in their own ass. Okay, I'm getting heavy feminine energy out here. Damn, blessings. You were the, thank you for the confirmation. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Blessings. You see what I'm saying? This is why they're kicking themselves in, the in their own ass. And you got blessings out here twice, collective. You are truly this person's blessing. You were sent in your person's life to be a blessing and they fucked it up. This is how come I said in the beginning um, with this karma. You were removed from your person so they could receive this, this shit that's coming to them. This is why they're scared of what's to come. This karmic cycle is coming. The devil is coming to collect. We've seen it in the preview, babe. Wow. So, collective, you protected. Okay? You are protected from your person. Now they want to come back to you because you were their blessing. Uh-huh. And the most high God said, stop. Oh, shit. I told you. I told you. I told you. Oh, in the divine union. Oh, 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 oh. Look. Card out. Okay. I told you. I told you. I told you. They want to come back. They want to come back towards your collector. The most high God stopped that shit. Oh, yeah. The most high God stopped that shit because things got to play out in divine timing. <laughs> this forgiveness got to play out in divine timing. You are in a divine union. This is why I said, damn. This is why I had to explain about karma. Most high God done popped out on that ass. Because this is a divine union. You got blessings out here twice. When I seen that blessings out here twice, I knew it was a divine union. That this one right here fucked up. And now I told you, you got to forgive. This is giving them prayers up to the most high God. For your person, even though they fucked up this connection, this divine union, still pray for them. Forgive them for yourselves if you can't forgive them for them. At least for yourself. At least for the most high God. 
you were sent to your person to be a blessing. This is how come they're sitting in misery and kicking themselves in the own ass because of the losses that they have taken. When they lost you, they lost a lot. They lost their blessing. Wow. What else can you tell me about uh, 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 you're the best thing that happened to me? And you were. You took care of this person, your person. You loved your person. Okay? This was supposed to be a, for happy ever after. It was like that in the beginning, but they switched up on you. you know, here we go with waste of time again. Because they fucked up. Damn. Knew you, knew boo. You, you like, fuck it. <laughs> I got to. You're like, fuck it. They were emotionally abusive. And now they're in a bad headspace with their big ass ego. That's what they get because you are done, done. Done with the mind games that this one was playing. Why? Because Holy Spirit is here and Holy Spirit closed that chapter because your person slept on this connection and now you became the runner. Hmm. But anyhow. This is why things are not the same. And this is why they're kicking their own self in the ass because they self-sabotage this connection. All right. What else can you tell me about you? The best thing that ever happened to me, Holy Spirit? Yeah, uh -huh. They shook to their boots. They shook to their soul about what's to come. They know they got to pay. Your person is not spiritually stupid. They know they fucked up and they know they got to pay for it. And that karma is a coming. We have get up. Okay, what can you tell me about get up, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about get up? Thank you. We have Scorpio. Okay, so somebody here could be a Scorpio. That is jealous and envious. It's, somebody's going to make a move, especially if you're a Scorpio or your person is a Scorpio. They're jealous and envious of you because you left the connection here and you left them in misery. Because they never thought that things would end like this. This Scorpio is about to get up and do some shit. I'm just saying. Now it's time to move away. Damn, Most High God is here. This most, I told you. Didn't I tell you? I didn't, didn't, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? The Most High God had to remove you from your person because of this karmic cycle that is about to happen. Because how they fucked up on love. Fucked up on their blessings. You were sick by the Most High God to be with your person. To be a blessing in your person's life. And they fucked it up. The Most High God has moved you away from your person. Because they're going to have to catch this karmic hands. They're going to catch those karmic hands. Period. Thank you for the confirmations. Okay. Holy Spirit. Since this karmic cycle is coming and they're scared of it. Let's see what's up with it. Okay, tell me about the karmic cycle that they're scared of. Oh, shit. Damn, baby, that's facts. This karmic cycle, it's, going, it's facts and they're scared. They see it on the horizon. It's like watching a storm coming. There's no way out of this. This is how come you had to be removed. This is how come you guys are in separation because of the violations that this one has done against love, against a blessing from the Most High. And we've seen the Most High God pop out twice at the bottom. Keep going. You need to keep going, collective. Because it's a coming. I heard a shit storm. Well, I... That's what I feel is a shit storm, okay? I, I didn't hear it, but I felt it. Okay, I can't be lying like that. <laughs> I didn't hear a shit storm, but yeah, that's about the way I, I'm going to see it. I see it as a shit storm. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Wow, keep moving forward. Keep going because it's facts that this karmatic cycle is coming. Like we've seen in the pre-read, the devil is coming to collect. This is how come the Most High God had to pop out and remove you from there. In order for this to go down, because it's happening, it's coming, that's a wrap. There's no way out of it. They violated the laws of love, period. What can you tell me about soul tribe? This is a part of your soul tribe. This is also, too, why you're protected. Because you know you are in a divine union. A divine union is uh, twin flame-ish. And I say ish. <coughs> ish. Because you also, too, can have a high-level soul contract with a person, with your soulmate. And they do feel twinish. Okay. I'm just saying. Here we have Capricorn and baby mama. 
So for some of you guys, baby mama done popped out twice. So for some of you guys, yeah, you are, you have a child with this person. Okay, they are part of your soul tribe. That's the reason why they're part of your soul tribe. Because you have a child with this, with your person. And um, your person can be a Capricorn. But this is also, too, the reason why the Most High God has removed you from them. Okay, get out. See what I'm saying? Okay. All right, for some of you guys, you put your baby mama out. That's fucked up. You put them out. For, for others, they put you out. I'm not really seeing why. All I see is a lot of regret. I don't I don't see how shall I say? It's not like you're mad at the other person or the person is mad at you because they're angry at themselves. It's a lot a lot a lot of guilt and regret here. Hell yeah, I'm sitting in misery and self sabotage. It's a lot of it. This is why I say pray for your person. Good shit. It's about it's about to go down. All right. What can you tell me about sitting in misery, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about sitting in misery? Please and thank you. Thank you. Scared. Shit. Do you do you see the fear all over the person? Do you see the fear? They know it won't work. The person is scared that it won't work. This is why they know that it won't work. Excuse me. This is why they're over here sitting in misery. The person is vowing that this is not over. I'm just saying. But some of you guys, this is the most high God telling you this ain't over. This karmatic cycle is not over. Okay. This connection is not over for some of you. Okay. Okay. What else can you tell me about sitting in misery and they scared? They scared of all the things. I mean, this one right here, they know. They know they're 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 an enlightened being here. They're getting downloads, messages. They're getting a whole lot of epiphanies and revelation. They know family issues, sitting in misery because of family issues. This is also two soul tribe, soul family, as well. With the baby mama and family issues, you could have been living with your baby mama, or you could have been in a commitment with your baby mama, and then the shit just went to shits. Because things are not the same. So somebody switched up in the relationship. They switched up in the relationship because they were spoiled the streets. Okay? And now your person need more time to get it right. Because they backstabbed you and they know it. The person want to know, what do you want me to do right now? How can I fix it? How can I get my family back? How can we work on these issues that we have? This is what your person want to know. Because they sit in a bad headspace. Because they've been emotionally abusive. Again, it's coming up. Emotionally abusive towards you in this connection. And now they're sitting over here broken hearted. Why? Because they were cold hearted. See what I'm saying? They was doing this shit to show off for others. Friends, family, co-workers, homeboys, homegirls, shit like that. Wow. They broken hearted because they were cold hearted. Well, you know, that's what happens when you disrespect God's blessings. That he sent to you because you want to show off for others and shit. And now they're over here spying on you. And they did have a secret third party. And they still lying to your face. But that mask had fell off because now you see their true colors. And this is why you ran far, far, far away from them. Why? Because they broke your heart. And now this person is learning the hard way. And now this person is talking shit. They're trying to make you jealous with a third party. But you turned your back. And again, this is why they're in a bad headspace. Because now they're for the streets. Because they lost and gambled on this connection. And they are easily triggered by you. By you. Mm. Okay. So, we have that third party showing up twice, eh? It's made me feel like they're not with that third party. But that was a part of the reason why. Look, and we are talking shit again. <laughs> they talking cat shit. But we didn't see the um, third party show up twice here. But it's making me feel as though they're not with that third party anymore. But that third party was a catalyst or a reason why this connection has separated. Are you separated from your person? Okay. What can you tell me about this is not over? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about this is not over? Please and thank you. Let's kick it out, Holy Spirit.
Yeah, I heard that karmic cycle is not over. So, so for a lot of you guys, they're already living in living out this karmic this karma. Okay, somebody could be dealing with a Pisces here <coughs> or a Leo. We have willing checkmate and wondering. <coughs> the person is wondering if this is really truly over. But I think so with this checkmate. When I made this card with Holy Spirit, this checkmate energy is got him. <laughs> got him. You left them wondering. Is this really over? Now they're willing. They're willing to work on things. They're willing to be obedient now is what I'm hearing. Obedient to the most high hell yet. Yeah. Have you get your ass kicked in these spiritual streets? I think the fuck yeah. I think you are looking. Here we go with the secret lover again. Secret lover won't work. I told you they ain't there. Not with this 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 third party. If your person, if you know that your person had a third party, they're not with them because it's not working. Okay. Like I said, somebody could be a Pisces, and here we have Aries. Okay. Now your person is losing everything. And this is everything. You, the third party, their mind, their soul. Their cars, their houses, their dreams, their ambitions, they losing everything. This is a part of that karmic cycle. And your person know why. Somebody could be a Taurus here. I'm just saying. Wow. This is why you was removed from your person. And even though the separation, it could hurt. It does hurt. Especially when you truly love somebody and you separated from them because of the bullshit that they that, that they have done. That shit hurts. But God's rejection is your protection. And that's exactly what's going on here. You had to find out about that secret third party, that other baby mama or something of the sort. You had to find out so you could make the decision to remove thyself because you know thyself. And when you did that, boom. Okay, now that you out the way, we could work on that ass. We could get this one right here. Because there's lessons that need to be learned. They're learning them the hard way. Especially when you dis disrespect a blessing. When the Most High God send you into somebody's life to be a blessing. And you disrespect it. Please expect the hand of God to rectify that. Because his word will not come back void. Period. His actions are true and righteous and he will get his way period that's the god we serve i'm just saying okay so your person can't say shit about this but they show sure is talking a lot of shit they ain't got shit to say though trying to save face and shit that mask them fell all on the floor oh they get them on earth okay what can you tell me about can't say shit about why they can't they don't even know why they did the things that they did they too old for this shit the shit that they done or is doing, they too old for it. This is like a 50-year-old or a 40-year-old still out here functioning around in these streets like a 20 or 30-year-old. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation. 30 years old is young to me. I'm just saying. 35, yeah, you're getting up there. You got a little experience under your belt. But 30, you just got out of your motherfucking 20s. You still got a little learning to do. Not saying that you ain't learned shit in your 20s, but huh, you, you ain't nowhere near 40 yet. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. All right. What else can you tell me about why? I mean, they can't say shit about why. Holy Spirit, thank you. I'll take the one that hit the table because they're a fucking liar. This is why they can't say shit. They got caught in their lies and they're a liar. <laughs> This person also too lied to themselves with they self sabotaging ass. Mm. This is why they 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 can't they don't have nothing to say. They can't say why. They lie to your they lie to themselves. Jeez. Okay. Well, you know. This is part of that self sabotage. We're gonna get to it. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about I cry for you when I'm alone? Yeah, that's a part of them sitting in that misery. And, and being angry at their selves because they self-sabotage the connection. Your person know exactly what they've done. They do. They do. Here we have family. We have no worries. 
We have separate now. We have quit. And we have don't do this. The person know exactly why you separated the family or you separated them in connection. They crying out, please don't do this. With this separate now, with no worries, you did this shit expeditiously. Okay? You didn't you didn't stick around that long. Now, what is long is up to you. But it's making me feel like, you know, you could have stayed in the connection to try to break it work, but it wasn't that many times that they fucked up that you caught on and said, I'm not doing this. <clears throat> okay? They could have fucked up once and you forgave them. Y'all got back together and, you know, try to make it work. And then they fucked around and did it again. And you could be like, oh, no, I don't want this. Okay? That's for some of you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Don't stop. Keep moving forward. Something happened around the holidays. Mm-hmm. Love, cancer. Cut off. Yeah. You cut this person off. I heard you cut it off at the neck. This is why all that misery and, and, and anger is here. Because you will not go back on your decision. They know they lost you. They didn't think they would, but now they know. You gone. Wow. What can you tell me about self-sabotage, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about self-sabotage? Losses. See me? All these losses that they've taken because they self-sabotage this connection. Uh-huh. Something have to do with friends, and now they're in deep regret. Okay, so it's making me feel like someone was listening to friends. Yep, sorry, not sorry. So they was listening to friends like, oh, uh, you could do this. Or come on, let's do this. Let's do that, girl. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about her. You know, let's, let's, let's function in these streets, basically. And they, they fucked around and lost you. What else can you tell me about self-sabotage? All these losses and hits that they're taking. They know. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? We have Taurus. We're dealing with a Taurus, okay? Some of you guys lost a Taurus. You self-sabotaged this connection and lost a Taurus. For others, a Taurus lost you. Okay, let's get one more self-sabotage because that's pretty a strong, that's a strong um, energy right there, <clears throat> especially with sitting under misery on top of it, yeah. So let's, let's get one more. What can you tell me about self-sabotage? Thank you. Other people. Listening to other people. I just said it. Now it's too late. Yep, other people. Now it's too late for this connection. They know they made a mistake. Listening to friends. This is for some of them. Okay. Shit, they pissed off. They self sabotage this connection and they pissed off, angry at themselves. They could be pissed off at you, especially if you're a Taurus or a Libra. Blaming you for the separation and shit. But they know they made a mistake. Okay? And now they know that it's too late. Listening to who? Other people. Friends. Now they're in deep regret. Because they self sabotage this connection with you, Collector. Okay. Oh, yeah. Somebody could be an Aries or an Aquarius. Somebody's receiving bad karma as well right now. Okay. All right. So, collective. Let's see. What is the intentions of your person now that they're in this separation with you? What is the intentions of the collective's person? We have mature man. Somebody want to grow up now. Mm -hmm. Somebody want to be that mature man in your life? What else can you tell me about the intentions of the collective person that they're in separation with? Like I said, for some of you guys, they are too old for this shit. Now they know. Now they done grew up. After this separation, yeah, now they, they grew up. What else can you tell me? Sudden wealth, the intentions, they want it back. Now that they done grew up, <clears throat> they want it back. For some of them, they're going to take action to try to get you back. Okay, yep, pathway. Can't make it up. They're going to take some type of action to get you back. Get you back into their life. Get back into your good graces. Because like I said, you are a blessing. Okay, all of a sudden they see your wealth. Because now they done grew up. What else can you tell me? 
about the intentions of the collective person. Thank you. Yeah, main male. You got two male energies out here. Okay. Imprisonment stuck. For some of you guys, like I said, we've seen that other man pop up in the reading. So, like I said, for some of you guys, you could have another man or another person that you're dealing with. But your person has matured or they want to be the mature one for you or want to be mature in this connection. Okay? Because they suddenly see your wealth or your worth. And now they want to make their way back to you to be the main male in your life. Somebody's birthday could be November 1st, November 5th, May 11th, May 1st. Somebody could be 35 years old. What else can you tell me about the intentions? Change. See what I mean? They want to change. They want to change the direction of this connection. They want to change for you. I'm not getting they want to change for themselves. No, no, no. They want to change for you. And that is not the way to go. Okay. Yeah. Unexpected income. Privileged lady. They see the value in you. Okay. Your person also too want a part of your abundance. I must say that. They want a part of your abundance because you are the blessing. They want that blessing back that they destroyed. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because now they're sitting in poverty. They want a part of your blessing. They're sitting in loss and lack here because why are they losing everything? Spiritual court is here. Your person is in spiritual court. This is why they're losing everything. This is why the Most High God popped out on that ass twice. Now they're concerned. Message of concern and despair. This is that scared of what's to come. Scared of that karmic cycle that's coming. Yeah. You help this person in high honor. You are their gift. You are held in high honor. And they know you were a gift. Mm. What else can you tell me? Great fortune. This is coming to you, collective. This is you. They in despair because they lost their great fortune. This is why I said they want a part of your blessing. They want a part of they want a piece of your abundance. Because uh, uh, uh. they lost it. Somebody could be homeless, jobless. They're not looking the same, feeling the same, could have lost a, a lot of abundance, money. Yeah, yeah, poverty and sudden wealth. Yeah, and despair. Yeah, they could have lost money. The path they took was just the wrong path. They're concerned about money. They could be getting some type of letter about their something going on with their, their bank account or their money or something of the sort. This is for some of them. Now they're in despair because it's making me feel like collective. As they're going under or going down, you're coming up. Your money, your worth, your wealth. It's arising. <clears throat> You're being abundantly blessed while, they, while your person is being stripped of their abundance. This is why they want to come back towards you as the mature man. This is also, too, how they're learning their lessons. Okay, so what advice do you have for the collective Holy Spirit before I wrap this up? What advice do you have for the collective? Thank you. Let go. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? You need to let this person go. You have been removed. Okay? And don't stop moving forward. Because there's big happy changes that's are coming. What other advice do you have, Collective? I mean, Holy Spirit. <laughs> what other advice do you have? If you believe. Okay? So something in here is requiring you to have faith. Okay? If you believe that you need to let this person go, do so. But something is requiring you to have faith. Okay? And look for a sign. Yeah. Look for a sign. Because something is a no. Something is a no to bring success towards you. So this person is being blocked from you. This connection is being blocked from you because their success is coming their way. This person can't come, not with all this bad karma that's attached to them. They can't come to you. Uh-huh. You need to trust. Have faith and trust is what I'm hearing. Trust that things are working out in your favor. Something could be happening within the next few weeks. Okay? 
Let's see. Let's get some more. What other advice do you have, Holy Spirit? What other advice do you have, my love? Okay. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is up to you. Make a decision. Have faith and trust. It's up to you whether you're going to do that. Okay? There is a peaceful resolution that's coming your way when it comes to this connection. But this connection is highly unlikely that it will ever come back together here. Yep. That's a big fat ass yes. See what I mean? Highly unlikely. There's some more information that you need to know about this connection. And again, a fat ass yes. You need to have a clear communication with your person. So there's some type of discussion or conversation that needs to be had in order to clear the air or in order to clear up understandings or misunderstandings here. Um, Spirit is saying, yes, go ahead and have that conversation, but let this person go as, as well. But it's all up to you whether you need that or want that. It's all up to you, but it's making me feel that having that closure and a conversation with your person, it'll help you close out this chapter, close out this cycle, and heal. Because not only do your person have to heal from the disconnect of this connection, you do as well. Some of you guys don't need that closure. You just move on, and that's up to you. You could do it. It's up to you whether you need it or not or whether you want it or not. But if you do get the opportunity to close this out or to clear the air, you need to communicate clearly your feelings, your thoughts, and your, your, your intentions when it comes to this person in this relationship. And there's some more information that you need to get. But you have two yes cards out here. I like that. Two yes cards back to back. I like to see that. That's that's really beautiful. Okay. All right, Collective. This is what I have for you. I hope these messages help. If they did, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.